excited. <laughs> but basically, today's video is going to be about how I was almost in a school shooting. Crazy, right? Um, so, if you know that you're almost in a school shooting, you're not in the best area. But you see, my school is in the sub area. No, it's like in the suburbs, like most expensive place to live. Like, I mean, in my like little town, it's like where all like the some military live and like healthy, <laughs> not healthy. I mean, like people who have lots of money generally live and they have their life put together. I don't live around there. I have to take a bus for like five minutes, but I could easily walk there. It's like a half an hour walk. But, because I have a small town, stuff like that. But basically, the next thing was about, so, this happened right after lunch and during lunch. Like, and then it went on for the rest of the day until 3, because that's what time I get off. It's a little bit later now, but, um, oh, that's why it doesn't look good. Okay. There, see, look, now I look wider, because I have a back bike. Yeah, right now it's like 7, so it's been quite a little while, so I was like, I can just film a video. But that's what I'm gonna do. But basically, it was just on, like, how, yeah, that lunch. Yeah. So basically, it happened at lunch, and it sounds like I'm lying, but I'm not. Oh, I hate videos. But I can cut all this out, because I'm good at editing. Oh, wait, I've never edited it shit before. But, what happened here is basically how I almost was in a school shooting. So this took place at my school, obviously. It wasn't in results. But it was how my thing went. I look better in my mirror right here because I had to look. I'm like, proper lighting, bruh. It's better than I do anything. But yeah. That's how it happened. So I was walking. I got some food at a corner store. It's like not that far away from my school. Obviously, I have to walk there. Or if you skateboard, it'll take like 10 minutes. But my friend was like, no, I'm walking. You have to walk with me. So I was like, okay. So I walked with them. But we went up there. We got our food. Because we were going to watch a movie thing. Like a bunch of like short films that we made in class in the drama room to one to three or like 150 that's I mean not 150 I mean 250 so actual time so we just had to sit down for a while it was pretty boring but I got my food taken away from me which sucked so we got our drinks and our we got our drinks and then our and then like a big bag of chips we were gonna share at the store and then we walked back and then basically we went and got and they went to the cafeteria to see my other friends because the bell had just rang because it's like a split lunch. Like, the younger grades and the middle grades go um to 11.45 to 1.12.30. And then the older ones go from 12.15 to 1.40. I think like to like 1.15. I don't know. But basically it's like an hour they get. Or like 45 minutes, so like maybe like one. I don't know though. Um, so then we just basically, we went there, we'd start talking to her friends. I almost watched them get punched in the face. Which was amazing, but they weren't actually, didn't actually get punched, but she was like, oh, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face, Pat. But they didn't actually do it, because they were like, no, let's talk about it. It was about like someone being racist, I think, or something like that, but yeah. So that's pretty much how that happened. And then, I didn't know this, and our school didn't know this, that there were people roaming around outside with guns. And then the cops showed up, our bell rang, we went upstairs to our, like, you know, the our classroom, the next class, obviously. I know, because it was 12.30, so then we just had a half an hour to, like, chill into the, our, um, our social studies class. We had an hour to chill. Half an hour to chill there. 
And then they got the thing called, like, the hold and secure, because they actually found out that there were guys out there. So then we got sent the hold and secure. And then, this is going to be a long video, I'm sorry. But then, we were in the hold and secure thing. Oh, fuck. Hold and secure. And then, we, you know, got... We were like, oh, this is just a drill. As you're like, everyone out of the hallway is coming to your classroom, in the bathroom, hurry up and go back to your class, and things like that. And then all the people who are still on lunch had to go in the cafeteria, and if you were outside, you're just going to get shot, you're, you're screwed. <sighs> Honestly, you're screwed if you're outside. And so you got to stay outside until these motherfuckers let us back in. The cops showed up, six of them to be exact. Six cops showed up at our school. We were like, the fuck? Why are you at our school? Because, like, we're, like, a ghetto school. But, like, we're in a rich neighborhood. Where the ghetto people in the rich neighborhood is crazy. Alright, so, like, everyone does drugs. Everyone smokes weed. Everyone smokes cigarettes. It's like, bro, we're all under age. If we got caught with this, we're gonna die. Um, so, basically... I almost had a panic attack because when I saw them, because, like, cops, like, kind of, I don't know why, it's just, like, people in, like, uniforms kind of freak me out as you're, like, oh, wow, they could seriously ruin your life if you did something bad, which I would never have done anything bad, but, you know, just that generally freaked me out. So we were still up in the classroom at this time. It's, like, almost one, and then they call and say that... We can go back to our classrooms. You know, we're back down to our next class and we can go into the drama room and like we can go outside to the bathroom. But that's just all we can do. We have to ask permission to go there and there and there's everyone holding the entrances, like with cops with like guns, actual handguns on them. So if anything, they should be the person who is bringing all the badness into our classroom. They weren't the problem. They were the solution, apparently. But they were the ones who were holding people at the door. There were, like, two cops per door. It was, like, three or four. So then I think it was, like, one person at one. But the, at the main entrance, there was two. And then at the other entrance, from, like, the other side, there was another two cops. And they were, some of them were in the office and stuff. There was, like, six or seven cops there, just, like, in the office. It was crazy. There was, like, three or four cop cars. It was, lights were on. Scary. Um, to be fair, and then we were all there like, yo, what are cops doing here? What's up? We gonna die? So then I was like, my brain was like, I'm gonna make you have a panic attack because of these cops. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna die. My last meal with Cheetos and a monster. I'm dead. I'm a dead person. I was like, the school's gonna get shot if I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have a heart failure fucking gonna die. That was what my brain was going through right now. So then we saw the cops there. They were like, ah, I'm strong. Ah. And then there was lights. A big, gigantic ass group of great apes like, the fuck you doing here? So then we entered the drama room. It was hot, sweaty, and smelled like sweat and sadness and popcorn. And a bunch of cheering great apes yelling, Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, because that was one of the films, but they couldn't watch it because it was offensive. Bitch, it was art. I mean, the guy did have Tourette's, but, like, it was art, man. Art. <sighs> Sorry, I'm very, I'm one for my art. I'm, like, getting hot because of this. <gasps> my room is really hot, too. I just turned off the heat. But, basically, that's what happened so far. Do you like my, do you like my Talica t-shirt? Bam. T-shirt. Yeah. But that's what happened there. We were all in the drama room. We were in there for a good... What's it? One to three. So it was like two hours. Yeah, it was two hours we were in there for. So it was crazy. So we were just stuck there sweating. We couldn't bring any of our things there. There were like no binders, no purses, no phones, no anything. I brought my phone and my Cheetos. But I did... Get them taken away after 15 minutes of chomping down on my Cheetos. Apparently a big bag that you're sharing with people is like bad now. 
and I, and I drank all of my drinks, so I was like, well, this couldn't get any better, you know? And then everyone was like, oh, it's so hot in here because I have the curtains closed, it's dark. And everyone's like, there's people on the balcony. It was like, because we have a balcony. And then some kid was eating chips up on the balcony, and he wasn't getting in trouble. So I made a rant Snapchat video about my teacher who took my Cheetos. And the thing is, he took, like, Mr. Pierce. Her na his name is Trevor Pierce. You can look him up on Facebook. I've befriended him, but he befriended me because I was weird, apparently. But he's a good guy. He has a kid. You can find out exactly where I live, which would be, you know, amazing for me. Because I'd be like, crazy stalker, come talk to me. Hey. <laughs> no, back onto the story. So there we were whole, held and secured in this thing. And then there was people running around our school with guns, like, bam, bang. Guns. They said, like, they don't know if it was BB guns, but they think it was. They just said that to make it sound better. But they could have been real guns. Like, what would have happened to me if these people with guns would have ran into my classroom and shot it up? Therefore, I was almost in a school shooting. Now, I know... Like, this is 100% real. You can look it up on the news. Anything... The 6 o'clock news CTV, I think it is. Yeah, like, you can look it up. CTV, EPEC, school shooting, EPEC educational center. Look it up. E Eastern Passage Education Center. Lockdown, you can search it up. There will be a full news story, I think, on it about how my school is almost shot up. And then the principal sent, like, a whole, like, a voicemail to every, all of the parents and stuff. That probably took forever, by the way. Props to you, Miss Hart. But she was just, like, oh. it was horrible. Because the grade sevens didn't know what the fuck were happening. We were, like, we die, we die. Because then all grade nines were being cocky, like, I can beat the shit out of that dude. You want to fuck me? Fuck me. Because that's the general population of my school you see and we're in the fucking we're like in a, like a good place but it goes to the ghetto our thing it's crazy our bus i get on the ghetto bus i had my penny board too i was like man i don't want my penny board to die it was crazy and this all happened on a wednesday afternoon average someone almost got punched the school almost got shoot up I yelled, I got stuck in a stinky drama room for two hours. Normal day. And the thing is, I find this normal. I wasn't even freaking out too much. My brain was just like, there's cops here. You're gonna get arrested. You're gonna get killed. We're gonna kill you. I was like, you don't want to do that to me. I'm pretty. You don't want to do that to me. Just kidding. I'm ugly as fuck. But, basically, that is what happened today in school. So, you know, and other news, I don't have, my room is messy, that's why I'm not filming on my bed. Because it's messy. I'm just filming on my wall, Jeffree Star. My MCR, 21 Pilots. See, look, I have more, 21, I have more 20 Pilots. I got Chris Lavelle, I have my Andy Beersack, Black Hole Bride Shine. Uh, bring your eyes in. You can see even more. I have even more. I have even more. Melanie Martinez. Thing is, this goes up to my ceiling. You don't realize how sad it is. It goes up to my ceiling. My ceiling. That is my ceiling. I have a problem. And I need help. Am I going to help it? No. Well, that was... I had an eventful... <sighs> eventful day. Now, I'm going to go have supper because, like, we're making ribs and it's going to be good. You know what I mean? Ah! And we ran out of money, so we found it at the end of our freezer. Hmm. No, we didn't. We got them from Costco. I don't even have a Costco membership. But my mom's friend does. But, yeah. So I'm just making this video longer to leak the algorithm. 
You get what I mean? Yeah, you do. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, that was my enthusiastic video. Don't know who's gonna watch it. I'm gonna put a clickbait title. Almost died in school shooting. Thousands of views just like, oh shit, this emo girl almost got killed. Oh shit, the emo kid. I'm not emo. I'm seen. Ah, I, ah, I just put that on the internet. Mm. Oh, that's gonna hurt me in my future. I'm gonna be like, why did I not dye my hair in time? But I might be dyeing my hair this week or maybe the week after. Depends on how much money I get paid from washing dishes at a pizza restaurant. <laughs> I need a life.